Let's begin our prayer. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the community of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. In waters of baptism, many died with Christ, and was with them to new life. May she now share with her eternal life. So as you open up and enter into eternity, we humbly beseech you that by the grace of your mercy, you, you may command the name of your servant Betty to be inscribed in the book of life. Through Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. shall touch them. They seemed, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, and their passing away was thought an affliction, and their going forth from us utter destruction. But they are in peace. For if before people, indeed, they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastise a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about us as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones and his care is with the elect. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is, The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. He guides me in right paths for his namesake. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side, with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. A 
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. All that matters is that in any and every way, whether from spacious motives or genuine ones, Christ is being proclaimed. That, it was, that is what brings me joy. Indeed, I shall continue to rejoice in the conviction that this will turn out to my salvation. Thanks to your prayers and the support I receive from the Spirit of Jesus Christ. I firmly trust and anticipate that I shall never be put to shame for my hopes. I have full confidence that now, as always, Christ will be exalted through me, whether I live or die. For to me, life means Christ. Hence, dying is so much gain. Conduct yourselves, then, in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. You have faith in God, and faith also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If there were not, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back again and take you to myself so that where I am, you also may be. Where I am going, you know the way. Thomas said to him, Master, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May be seated. I think Betty would be tickled to see so many people here. I think it's also a, a wonderful a sign of uh, who she was and what she was about while she was here on earth. And not only are there all these people who are here, we have here Bill and her siblings and other members of the family who have come before us. And I imagine Bill might be in a Incan costume carrying a, leading a, a llama through, through a parade, or, or maybe not. But here we have those who have gone before us, celebrating so with us the, the life of, of Betty Hawkins. <clears throat> Where to begin? 83 years as a faithful Catholic and loyal parishioner, a member of this parish who played the organ and the piano for, uh, for over 50 years. That's uh, hard to say. Uh, and uh, yesterday, I saw a picture, a photograph of her sitting at the organ at the St. Joseph uh, uh, Mother House. And I thought, being at the organ, whether here in, in the old church, or at St. Joseph, or at the piano here in our worship space, that seems to have been her, her natural habitat. For music was a big part of her life, and that has been obviously handed on to her family. A beautiful a legacy, uh, to say the least. The second reading from the Paul's letter to the Philippians says that to, for, for to me, this is Paul talking, but I think we can hear Betty say this as well. For to me, life means Christ. Hence, dying is so much gain. 
Well, that gain, of course, is eternal life with Christ in the kingdom of heaven. And this is something that she greatly believed in, had faith in. And so because of that deep faith, then she had no fear of dying. Indeed, I think Betty looked forward to what was to come in heaven, in the kingdom of God. For as she believed so, 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 in that now, uh, Betty is uh, freed, delivered from uh, MD and any other uh, maladies that she may have experienced in this life. And so, is exceedingly happy now, maybe even a dancing, as well as uh, singing, uh, playing the, the, or the heavenly organ, and what have you. So we remember those, those things about Betty, but we also remember and honor how she was a, a wife and a mother and an, and an aunt, and how she loved her, her family, and how because of her beautiful example of living life to the fullest, she has passed that on to, uh, to, to, to many others. So, we, so again, we remember the, uh, her faith, and part of that faith is, is what we heard about in the, the Gospel according to, to John. Jesus promises that uh, if you have faith in God, faith in Jesus, then there will be a dwelling place for one in heaven. And Jesus goes to prepare a place for, for us who do believe, who do have faith. And Jesus says, where I am going, you know the way. Well, but we believe certainly that many did know the way. She knew the way that was the way of, 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 the, of the cross. So she really did know her, uh, had her own share of the suffering and pain. But she bore that uh, with, with faith, just as Jesus bore his cross. And Betty knows that, knew that Jesus is the truth. And in, in knowing that truth then, uh, her faith was, uh, was, was, was uh, much deeper. And Betty knew that Jesus was and is the life. And it is this life that now Betty shares in fully and, and, and most, most beautifully. On the, on the uh, memorial card on the back, there's the, uh, the old rugged cross. And one line says that, Then he'll call me someday to my home far away, where his glory forever I'll, I'll share. I think, we, I think we certainly believe that. We have no problem believing that Betty is not sharing the glory of God in that, in that home uh, far away, that home that Jesus talks about in today's gospel. And also, hearing about the stories of, about Betty and and uh, the, the good that she did, and, uh, and the life that, that she led, again, a very full life, a very happy life. I also received a, a, an email from Cassandra, a very long and beautiful reflection on Betty as a, as a grandma. And, and after reading that, my first thought was that if you were to go to the dictionary to find the definition for grandma, there would be a picture of Betty. So the, the, the reflection, which is so good and so beautiful, and just uh, beautifully summed up who uh, Betty was for, uh, for, for not only Cassandra, but for all of us. Again, as a, as a wife and, and a mother and a, and a sister and a, and a good friend for, for all of us. So there are many things to remember besides, uh, besides mamas and her music, uh, things like um, the ways that she liked to, to dress, and to dress up, and to dress up nicely. How she liked her Baron Bradley um, purses, and how she just simply, I think, just loved her, her children, uh, loved her children to death, as it were. I remember, personally, I remember last spring during the uh, pandemic lockdown, she, was, she would email me, uh, se email me several times talking about her family living there and visiting with the children through, uh, through, uh, through the glass or, or, the, or the screen, and just, and just how she loved those, those visits, how she loved her family being there during, during that lockdown. So during that lockdown, during that time of this pandemic, she was still uh, joyful and hopeful and loving on her family, uh, 
just this beautifully, in a beautiful way. So that I, and I have no doubt that all of us can uh, share our own stories about Betty and who she was and, and what she was about. But the, our prayers today and our readings and our reflections uh, again reflect a person who had a deep faith, a love for her family, a love for Jesus, and now enjoying that, uh, uh, that, that home that God has prepared for her. As a people of uh, faith and prayer, we now place our petitions uh, before our God, praying especially for, for Betty and for our family and friends, all those who are in need of our prayers. That the church throughout the world will be a living and joyful witness to the good news of Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, that the conscience of our nation will turn towards the protection of life from conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, that God will bless the pastorate of St. Joseph and St. John the Baptist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, that God will look with mercy on the whole world and bring about an end to the coronavirus pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering from natural and man-made disasters, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That more Christians will put themselves out there to work in God's vineyard, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the members of Clarence and Mary Ripperger family, remembered at this Mass. Clarence and Mary Ripperger, Donnie and Phil Myers, Rosie and Bob Comer, Bud and Jody Ripperger, Jim and Thelma Ripperger, Pat and Ann Ripperger, Rich and Mary Lou Ripperger, Betty and Bill Hawkins, Kathy Mahaney, Rick Ripperger, and Kim Fletcher. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we give you praise and this heavy for the gift that Betty was for us for, and for so many people. As we place these prayers before you, we do so with the firm belief that you want to hear and answer these prayers. And we ask this in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sweetie.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and all the Holy Church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Mede, who beseech your mercy, the sheep who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior, may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is really right and just to do in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the coasts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Our son is in the Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Our son is in the Christ. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created right to give you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather good people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we come looking for you. By the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, and to his command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you again thanksgiving this holy and loving sacrifice. Lord, we pray to find the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. John, with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity 
your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our bishop, the order of bishops, and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Betty, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you are God as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command of form and divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, and mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not ready to do so in the world. Lord, I am not ready to do so in the world. Oh, yeah. 
Stand. Let us pray. <clears throat> Our God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that, strengthened by it, our sister Betty may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Betty, and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see her again and enjoy her friendship. Although we may disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Jesus Christ.
his brother mercies, we commend our sister Betty in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on that last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon her in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant, and help us remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith, until we all meet in Christ, and are with you and our sister forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In peace now, we take our sister to her place of rest. Let us pray. Our sister Betty has gone to her rest in the peace of Christ. May the Lord now welcome her to the table of God's children in heaven. With faith and hope and eternal life, let us assist her with our prayers. Let us pray also to the Lord for ourselves. May we who mourn be reunited one day with our sister. Together, May we meet Christ Jesus, who is, when he who is our life appears in glory. We read in sacred scripture from the Gospel of Matthew, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, says the Lord, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. So we bless the grave, Lord Jesus Christ, by your own three days in the tomb, you made holy the graves of all who believe in you, and so made the grave a sign of hope that promises resurrection even as it claims our mortal bodies. Grant that our sister may sleep here in peace until you awaken her to glory, for you are the resurrection and the life. Then she will see you face to face, and in your light will see light, and know the splendor of God, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Because God has chosen to call our sister Betty from this life to himself, we commit her body to the earth. For we are dust, to dust we shall return. But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So let us commend our sister to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace her in peace and raise up her body on the last day. And so we pray and... Uh, the response, like prayers of the faithful, the respond after each one is, Lord, have mercy for our sister, Betty. Let us pray to our Lord Jesus Christ, who said, who said, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me shall live even in death. Whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Betty, and dry the tears of those who weep. We pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. 
You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow, we pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. You raise the dead to life. Give to our sister eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. You promised paradise to the repentant thief. Bring Betty to the joys of heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Our sister was washed in baptism, anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give her fellowship with all your saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. She was nourished with your body and blood. Grant her a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of Betty. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope, we pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty God, through the death of your Son on the cross, you destroyed our death. Through his rest in the tomb, you made holy the graves of all who believe in you. And through his rising again, you restored us to eternal life. God of the living and the dead, accept our prayers for those who have died in Christ and are buried with him in the hope of rising again. Since they were true to your name on earth, let them praise you forever in the joy of heaven. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We bow our heads now and pray for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal rest grant to her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. And may the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.